Ah, Champa. That looks like a dead person. When the fire goes out, it probably won't last. We have to keep finding more fuel to keep us safe. Let's see if I can actually remember how to get through this place. Yeah, but the price was a little <laughs> much, though. Yeah, I can imagine. It has, it has a lot of fill and stuff, but it wouldn't fuck it way. 369. Yeah, I mean, for the stuff it does, this seems... It seems reasonable. Expensive, but reasonable. Um, and if by the end the quality and everything, you know, works out, I think it's probably, like, a worth, worthwhile uh, investment. Takes me a lot of courts and troubles. That also, yeah. Cables and courts is also something you don't immediately think of, but can be like a huge. Can make a huge difference because dealing with that stuff is just annoying. <laughs> ah, I got this one. Oh, yeah, we learned what he can do. My thermal synergy can create a solid updraft of warm air. It doesn't work everywhere, but it's great in a spot like this. Yay. The three scenes are amazing. It does, sound, it do, it does sound like a really, like a really cool webcam. Um, if I hadn't just, like, bought my new one too long ago this would this would probably probably have ended up on my on, on my list <laughs> well maybe in the future but who knows in like two or three years there will probably be a new piece of tech that does something different and the rate at which tech changes these days is just incredible. just cannot wait. It's always, it's always nice. Or like, it's not nice, but it's, uh, what, what am I meant to say? Uh, the anticipation uh, for something you bought and then having to wait for it is something special about it. Always, always reminds me a bit of like, um, back when I was a child and like waiting uh, so that we would be finally able to open our Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. Like having a cameraman. <laughs> I haven't been this excited. F I haven't been excited like this in a for a very long time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you. Uh, the excitement is there. That's, a, that's nice. Great grandma. Boys. Well, well. Here yeah, I thought you've been captured by Beast Man, and it turns out you were out making friends. Oh, hey, you. Hello, Papa. I haven't seen you in 30 years. Yes, the old man, I remember you. A cradle or something. But you look the same as you did then. How could that be? It's Craden, actually. It's also a long story. Before you guys get started, I got something I gotta say. Can I say my piece? I don't know. It sounds like I'm not going to like it. But I suppose I'd find out eventually anyway. During the battle in Morgul. I'm just a grown a kid can't help it. We're all. I think. I think. I think. I think keeping keeping your inner child alive is something very important. Um. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, what, 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 what's the saying? Uh, men don't grow up, their toys just get more expensive, or something like that. <laughs> He's gonna have me. Seems you're over both doomed to unhappiness. I suppose I'll follow him soon enough. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to when I see him. Now, Crane, you were exposed to that golden sun and now you can't age. Does that sum it up? Uh, yes. To live so long in bones already old, I don't envy your gift. So, who are the rest of you? Probably a ragtag group of scrappy heroes out to stop this nasty eclipse. Eh? Good. As the old man can tell you, I have a knack with fire and the forge. If you find any interesting materials, bring them to me and I'll make gear you can't get anywhere else. I'm going to Great Grandma. See you around. I thought as much. Good luck. I'm luckily still in touch with my inner child. That's very good. The, the, the inner child is very important and needs to be taken care of. Um, but yeah. Honestly, it's always like the most enjoyable things when you just indulge in, in things that make you happy. It's just... That's what life is for, really. We should enjoy it. To the best possible extent. All right. Now we've got a key, which means uh, we get to steal stuff. Now, is stealing stuff from an old woman morally justified? Probably not. Six coins. Great. Eight coins. Not great. Eighty-eight coins. Well, that was not even worth it. Unless... <laughs> In gaming? No. Whee! There is... Ori... Ori Halcon? That... is a word. To me, that's gold bar. Uh, I will forever refer to these things as gold bars, because you cannot convince me that it does not look like a gold bar. <clears throat> my stream, my rules. <laughs> uh, Alright, but yeah, now we can uh, give her stuff like that gold bar. Um, and then we have to leave the city, come back, talk to her, and she gives us an item. Now, the problem with this is, the stuff she creates is random. Meaning, you can either be very lucky and get, like, some of the best items and weapons in the game. Or, you don't. Um... So you're essentially gambling with her, which is <laughs> is a choice the devs made. A choice they also made in Golden Sun 1. And I don't like them for that. That stupid song has been all over my timeline. Incredible. Mm. It's an old song though. Yeah, it is, but that's what the internet does sometimes, right? It takes an old song and just Brings it back to life. And it goes viral. Because of TikTok? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's not like these things haven't happened in the past. 
Sandy first platoon. Yeah. It is fascinating how, like, things go viral. Seemingly at random. Also makes the internet a fun place. But yeah. Uh, alrighty. Let's do this. Um... So this is what we need Himi for, and that's why I didn't go in here earlier. Also, the animation of that synergy takes forever. Zol. Punished to see that some music never dies. Yeah, there really, there really is something, something special. Like some music, and it always seems like. It is always, it's mostly retro stuff that just seems to like, live on forever. Oh, you are an angry one, okay. But I always like it when like, especially like old songs are like, like updated into like a new era. Now that we have like, improved sound technology and you know everything sounds a lot more clean and better and high high quality and if artists then take an old song put their own little spin on it and update it into a modern era I love that And at the end of the day, we're always going through cycles, so we'll be... Like, every few generations, music from a few generations ago will be picked up. And then the cycle just continues. Whereas I feel the new stuff that's being created now, I don't know if it will last as long. Okay, where do you... Please let me go. I need to go up north! <laughs> let me go, please! Thank you. There we go. Up we go. All right, we're gonna enter the fun part now. Where we're going to have to drive, drive, sail through the darkness. <laughs> that's what our opponents thought, but that's also true, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's just, it, all these things, all this like generational talk, it's just it's just gonna repeat itself forever. New generation comes, the old generation has their like opinions about stuff from the new generation. And then it just repeats all over again. <laughs> that is a hand. Why is there a hand? I am confused. Oh boy, here we go. Ready for random encounters every other step. Let's go. That. Yeah. We had like back in back in high school during during German class. We had like a long discussion with our with our German teacher about like exactly that. Like we will eventually just accept, or, like adopt certain mannerisms that we know from the previous generation, and it will feel very weird when you kind of realize that 
Wow, I sound like my parents. <laughs> uh, and turns out she was right. Um, as she was with basically most things she told us. She was definitely like the best teacher I ever had. Um, didn't help my grades because I'm terrible. I was terrible in German, but it's the th it's the thought that counts, I guess. Uh, we have like, anything that does damage. Uh, you can just. Hit them. I feel like my parents sometimes. Yeah. It's like every now and then, I'm like, wow, okay. I sound like my sound like my parents, or like, yeah. Was <laughs> also better than English than my native language. Which comes probably also down to that, like the expectations in the classes relating to your native language are a lot higher always. Like, if I have to compare the essays we had to write in German compared to English. Yeah, it makes sense why I wasn't particularly good in German. Though, to my defense, German spelling and grammar is horrible. Terrible! Um, I am so impressed by any person who tries to learn that. Ow. Okay, the enemies start to do damage now, which isn't cool. Not to say English spelling is necessarily great. English... English spelling is... something. <laughs> But, at least in English, there are only a few words I need to capitalize. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh... Oh, God, this is gonna be bullshit. Nine coins. There's something else in here. Okay, you can just spam the button. Is there really just nine, nine coins down there? That's a scam. Sometimes messy. But we're used to that. That's in German. Yeah. Very much true. I'm pretty sure there's like supposed to be an item in here. I regret that uh, about half an hour ago I said, wow, my luck with these spots is really great right now. Um, I jinxed that. That is no one's fault but my own. I did that to myself, and I have to suffer the consequences. Uh, at least we know where the spot is. I'm gonna try to make a note of it. Hemorrhaging stuff. Oh, I'm the expert. I drink stuff all the time. Mainly in games, though. Um, I try not to be... <laughs> not to be overtly... Uh, uh, overly confident in real life. Technically speaking, I can check this spot off stream as well. Uh, 
How do you get in there again? Oh, yeah. there we go. It is just a very cool looking weapon. Like, I love, I, I just love these special attack animations. Ah, the fuck? Right back switch to the scene. No worries. Yeah. Oh my days, I think I'm an idiot. Which, not new information, but. <laughs> Go. Honestly, with these many enemies, it's probably like a smart idea to just turn Sveta into like a, into beast form. And then use her AoE attacks. Probably save some time. Come on, Reef, hit him with your pumpkin, but better. There we go. I mean, at least we're getting like level ups left, right, and center, which is kind of cool, but. Uh, yeah. Also, more glad than ever that we have an AoE heal. Yeah, I think. No, you have to go around. But how would one do that? Aha! Found the opening! Oh my days, hello. Uh, yeah, you go into beast form, fuck it. It's gonna save me a lot of time. So now I can just attack all of them at once. idea if that's actually faster than if we just like attack them one by one but it feels a lot more cool that's a dead end god this is my least favorite area in the game genuinely <laughs> Water maze that is not on the map with random encounters is something. Phew. But at least I know we're getting another gin very soon, which is nice. Go, 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 go! There we go. Ah, you do need Himi for that as well. Okay, I didn't know that. I think this is also unique music. Which is kind of cool. Area probably has random encounters in it. So, uh, try and stay healed for the most part. Also, I don't know if that gin is like a nice gin or if it's like an angry gin. That 
is some the throw. Get our gin friend, and then we. Oh, the lightning effect is kind of cool. Let's just slide down the house. Hello. Ah, it's a friendly one. We love to see that. <laughs> Rhyme. Hell yeah! Wha right, we have all Jupiter gems. Let's go. Nice. All right, we're gonna get another another uh, Mercury gem very soon, and then. Oh. It feels so nice being like towards the final stretch of the game. I mean, I know there's still a lot of things to do, uh, and I do want to forge weapons as well. I just need to. You should think at what point I want to do that. I also might do some stuff off stream. Um, when it comes to like farming specific materials, getting specific materials, stuff like that. Um, or even foraging. I might show like how foraging works once and then like do it off stream because it is just painfully boring. Um, watching me. Go in, give the material, go out, go in, probably not get the item I want, reload the save, rinse and repeat. <laughs> Though we could also do it in a way where I just take whatever she gives me, and unless it's like a duplicate, I'll keep it. Might also be actually not that bad of an idea. I think the rusty weapons we got are always return in this uh, result in the same uh, equipment. They might, they might not. I need to check something online, I think. Oh, it it sure is dark in here. I can't see a thing in this darkness. I thought I heard someone this way. Oh, come back, Stan. All oh, right, over there. Is that you? <gasps> As you can see, Huzan is in a bad way. He fought off a horde of monsters to protect this place. I thought I finished them all, but one was only wounded and let my guard down. But now that he is here, I can finally rest. No, you can't die in a forsaken place. In this forsaken place, he won't let you. Yes, hold on for long enough for Bobsy to take us back to Sana. But that would, that would be a dream, alas, one that cannot be. Take care of them. God, wow, there's so much death in this game. Always worried that the game crashes in long loading sequences. I know this won't be easy, but we must ask. Do you happen to have the ancient Morgul map? It's one of my latest, my last keepsakes. It's one of, one of my last keepsakes of my father, and I wish I didn't have to part with it. But I'm certain he would want me to help you in any way I can. You got the Umbra map. Now we can find the Umbra gear. We should start the search right after taking them home. Yeah, let's not take them home immediately. Obviously, the next step would now go back to Sana or Tonfan and um... Oh, 
So we got our map now. Let's go find something here. Except that the map is ancient and geography all changed with the golden sun. Everything has moved. I think I can help with that. Let's see. If the mountain is over there. Got it. I figured out where we want to go. Yeah, and obviously that's what we're gonna do. Obviously I couldn't get the exact locations, but we can start looking at the spots I marked. Well, the Emerald is certainly important. Should we get our guests back to Sana first? Ever the gentleman, Riki. <laughs> yes, let's get them back to Tonfon immediately. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go all the way back, get these two people home, and then come all the way back up here. No, absolutely not. We're getting our first piece right now. <laughs> Silly game. Things I'll make a detour. Oh, come on. You can't just clone yourself. That's rude. But yeah, especially in a game with no um, fast travel. Uh, the way the game intends for you to go about things is a bit silly. Though I really wonder if, if fast travel would make this game better or actually worse. I think there's an argument to be made for both sides. Um. Whoa. Um, to say that fast travel can enhance a game by taking out some tediousness. But also that it can, like, um, worsen the experience by providing way too easy access, which is moving all over the place. And therefore taking the fun out of it a bit. Though I personally think... I think for Golden Sun, a good way to do it would be like to have teleportation as like a late game access. Um, where it's like, A, you get it really late, and B, you obviously can only teleport to cities you've already been to. So like, once the main quest is done, then you get the ability. Um... So, you get the convenient if you, like, want to 100% the game. Um, I think that's a good point, too, to introduce that. It's a balance. Yeah, teleport is too convenient. Yeah, it definitely can be. If you end up only teleporting around and not doing much else, then, yeah, that's bad. That's what I kind of like about like Castlevania-like games, or Metroidvania games. Because their like, teleporters are always like in certain locations, and you can only go from location to location. Um, which I feel like helps. Which one shows next to your channel points? Oh yeah, it actually does. Huh. Oh yeah, they've also introduced this like weird new mechanic thing that you can use bits for. Uh, it's like, what's it, like a special message highlight and uh, um, like a big emote. Oh, that gin is angry. Which, I mean, nice, I like, like, new features are always cool, but I wish, and that's, like, I think a concern many have already voiced. 
yeah, that is a big emote. <laughs> well, it doesn't show on OBS, but it shows in Twitch chat. I mean, that's kind of fun. I don't mind that. And I think the special message highlight is also fine. But there's like a third thing that like plops a lot of emotes on on the screen. Um, and that one I like cranked the price up all the way to max because like that seems silly. <laughs> I don't necessarily want it and I can't turn it off. And I think Twitch should allow to like turn things, toggle things on and off. Um, just so people have a bit more of a... a can create their custom experience, I think. Uh, I want to give Ivy to her, I think. I definitely want Chasm up on Matthew. Yep. Nice! One, two, three, four, five Jin left to go. Nice. Oh. Also, I'm so, so happy that this area does get the Ice Queen music again. I love this track. It's so good. Ugh. Go. There's probably gonna be a bunch of, like, useless treasure around here. But, because I really, really do not want to come all the way up here again. Uh, I'm gonna try to get everything we can. Well, camera arrive? Nice. Well, I hope you enjoy... Uh... I uh, hope you enjoy your, your new uh, camera. <laughs> Words are very difficult for me today. I don't know what it is. There's seriously nothing here. Really? I mean, sure? Oh. Kind of did not expect random encounters up here, but sure, makes sense. I love that dumb laser attack. It comes in a hard case. Now that's how you know it's quality. Oh my god, that thing takes no damage. There we go, thank you. So we wanna come down the middle and then we wanna also slide down, I think on the very left side. Um, let's be smart about that and go down I think here. Yeah, and then here. Nice. And I think in the lower area there is also some stuff that I want. There it is. First piece of the Umbra gear. The Umbra goggles. One thing that looks kind of ridiculous, but hey. Uh, I'm gonna put that to Sveta. So, Sveta is the only character that can equip these things. Um, and it is, if I remember, the best equipment she can have. 
It's not like just, oh, it's equipment she has to wear. But it's like actually good. <laughs> Try to use like synergy, because I don't know if I can damage them properly. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say ice does not do damage to them. Just a guess. I love how the secondary, like the status effect that the giant laser that Sveta's weapon currently shoots is that it makes enemies fall asleep. Makes perfect sense. Uh, so I think there's also I think there's also a mimic down there in, in one of the chests. We'll find out. I think I want to go... I want to slide down all the way to the left here. There we go. Nice. Ah! Uh... Okay, I'm going to Eolio. Worse on him. I'm gonna give that to Himi. Just because she does not have a good weapon at the moment. Despite it being a lot, lot better on. Anyway. On our MC. But oh well. the chest mimics I feel like are always one of the more, da more, more dangerous enemies and like especially RPGs the amount of time a mimic in Dragon Quest has completely destroyed me um yeah <laughs> that happened a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Um, so that wasn't fun. <laughs> so I'm always, always a bit more careful when it comes to these enemy types. Um, Cause you know. <laughs> dying in RPGs, not necessarily fun. I actually don't know how this game handles game overs. I actually really, I really don't. It might just reset you like back to your latest save point or something like that. So yeah. Uh. The nice thing is, once we have found a piece of the Umbra gear... It is marked on the map, which is wonderful. There we go. One USB, one USB C port to show on my PC. No! <laughs> oh, that is always that is so annoying when you're out of ports. Ah, oh, I hate that. <laughs> I have like three, three USB extension things, like multi ports that I can plug in. <laughs> uh huh. Uh. Okay. Wait. Before we before we move on, this I I need to check that now before I do something stupid. They had a convert in the kit. That is really cool, actually. See, I feel in that case, you actually paid for something that was worth it, because they included a bunch of stuff. Um, but that is really nice. Uh, uh, 
No, I should be able to type. That'd be cool. Yes, a threat from 2011, that's gonna be good. Um, isn't there? I am pretty sure I once saw a guy to what all these all these spots in the ocean have. God damn it. Which materials? <laughs> Let's have a bit of a look. you look at that nice okay none of these spots up there do have uh, they only have coins and no none of the rusty weapons that's what I was kind of worried about because I really don't want to come back up here for a rusty weapon Which, however, also means I could have forged the rusty weapons when we were back at the. Oh, whatever. By the way, that's a that's a lighthouse from Golden Sun One and Two. Um, which is kind of cool that you can like see one here. Uh, do you think it kind of adds a bit to the world building? Of being like, look, this is what happened in the previous game. It's kind of cool. Alrighty, um... What's our plan of action now? Since I'm not going on for too much longer... Oh my days, these enemies. I think... Yeah, let's forge our rusty weapons. Because it also turns out that rusty weapons always result in the same. Like, rusty weapons forging is the one thing that isn't randomized about forging, which is really nice. Um... So, I can kind of showcase that. Unless we are obviously, like, interrupted a million times now. I love random encounters. They're my favorite. Especially enemies that take long to kill are great. It's a 
surprised me on my favorite. I really just like. I want either on map encounters, I think on map encounters are perfectly fine. Or. Uh, I want games to do something like uh, Bravely Default 1 and 2 did. Or oh, Bravely Default and Bravely Second did. Where you have like an option slider that like increases or reduces the amount of uh, random encounters you face in an area. That was such a nice feature. Because when you already... You already felt like leveled enough so you would just turn down the slider. And if you needed to grind, you just turn the slider all the way up. Um, and then still for the final dungeon and the optional dungeon, the you couldn't turn down or up the sliders. So there were still areas where you had to like kind of just deal with it. Um, but for most of the game, like you at least had an option to um, nope out of the system, so to say. And I love, love stuff like that. I want games to give me options. Um, if I use them, then that's up to me. But, like, having the options is always nice. Phew. I love the sound the bow makes. Nice. God. You have, like, seven levels in a stream? That's kind of Good. Okay. Um, as I said, I'm gonna go down and go to the uh, thingy. And then next time, that's gonna be the nice thing, I can just make my way up. Collect all the pieces. Um, and yeah. Like, there isn't an insane amount of stuff we still need to do now. Uh, we need to collect the three pieces. Um, then there is one more dungeon we need to do. And... Then it's on to the finale. Actually. So... My educated guess would be like two to three streams until the finale. And uh, once I'm done with the finale, I will do some off-stream grinding. And then we will um, tackle the optional stuff. Because I think, honestly, I think the optional stuff is kind of like, it's like the fun part about an RPG. Right, that's always that's always the most exciting part about an RPG is like the secret bosses, stuff like that. Um, at least to me, that's always the most exciting thing. All right, uh, let's save. All right. Hello. Um. Let's see. Who has? There we go. Right, and this is how that works. Wait, I can actually show something, which is kind of cool. Uh, so while she's in here, we can go up here. Uh, and now that thing is filled with lava. It's kind of a cute interaction. Um... But yes, she says you should come back later, what she means by that, annoyingly, is you want to leave the city, or whatever is left of it, in that case. And then we're just going to go back in. <laughs> and now you can see why forging might not be my favorite mechanic of this game. Um... Because, yeah, there are shortcuts, which is cool, but still. And all the way up again. And again, if this would be a normal forgeable material, now it would be completely random what I get. 
I am not going to try. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, you have the rusty sword. It can zoom and track uh, parts of a body. Show your lap when cat's taking on it. Track head only, hands. Even feet for dancing. That's cool. Yeah, tracking technology has come quite a, quite a way. Uh, which is really nice. But yeah, and the fact that you can set it up however you want is also kind of cool. Uh. And I'm up. Fun. Uh, Rune Blade. The only sad thing is I remember the forgeable weapons being kind of not great. <laughs> I think that's all we have. Yeah, there's one rusty weapon you get super late into the game. Like, insanely late. And the rest would be up to luck. But I'm not doing the luck stuff now. actually packs a punch. So let's... Uh, I don't think I ever used the rune blade actually, so it's gonna be interesting. And then the unpronounceable sword does... Like increase... It increases Tyrell's attack by three. Nice. Sure, whatever. <laughs> you know what? You you can enjoy it. <laughs> uh, Convert to clear so you can show less keyboard. Sorry about that. I I say I say. You you invested good, Stan. Good investment. <laughs> um Alright. But I'd say I now have a plan for next time around. Um I may or may not do some off stream forging. We'll see. Um And yeah. With that, uh, we'll continue on next time. <laughs>